All right, Sunday morning. Heading out to get John because we got a koi rescue. But I've been waiting for like 15 minutes. I'm 15, 20 minutes late because of this accident. Man, there's been a lot of them lately. But, ooh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Alright, finally made it through. Hey everybody, good morning, good Sunday morning. Uh, me and Jean, we are doing a rescue. And it's in Grove City, Ohio. About two, two and a half hours south. It's down by Columbus. And uh, we're headed down there now. Uh, it's actually supposed to be a koi rescue roughly a dozen or so six inches or so uh the people bought the house uh it was already there and that's what was left in the pond and of course they didn't want them to sit there and die so they gave us a call and john and i are going down to pick them up so stay tuned for the rescue Made it to our destination. Let's go find Tori. Tori, <laughs> how you doing? Good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. All right. Let's go take a look at these fish. Okay. I found one flutter this morning. Did you? Yeah. Okay, so you just brought bought the property then? Yeah, we purchased the property, and this is the state of it. Oh no! Yeah. Hi guys. Come on. Come on. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Beautiful shepherd. Oh, thank you. Off. Ah. You're supposed to be here. Okay. So yes, here are the fish. Um, there, I've seen a couple pop up. So okay. that we've already got a pop. I don't know. There's the electrical over here. Okay. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's really convenient. I mean, it's so. going to be it could be bad at all. And it's only about a foot deep, then. Yeah, I can see a fish right there. Yeah, I see one right there. Looks yeah, like the there's floor. a filter or a yeah, pump right there. Oh, there's the floater. Yeah. That's not even a toy. No, it might be goldfish. Yeah. Okay. Well, what we'll do is uh, we'll go get one of our totes. We'll get it back here, fill it full of some water, or we'll do some five-gallon buckets. Get it filled up, and then we'll come down here, drain it as much as we can, and scoop them out and get them out for you. All right, sounds good. Yeah, I want to get these guys to a good home. How'd you find out about us? Um, my mother-in-law saw a bunch of your videos on YouTube, okay, and it recommended that we look you up. So definitely wanted to do that. Awesome. So you guys aren't going to use it? You're going to fill it in, probably. Yeah, we're going to fill it in. Okay. So I mean our. Dogs have been trying to drink the water and <laughs> not what that's for. Right. <laughs> Alright, well we'll go get our stuff and we'll get going here. Alright, sounds good. Alrighty. Alright. Hey, right. Time to get this pump going and we'll get this thing pumped out in no time. Yeah, it's a little deep. Okay, it's pumping. Yeah, we'll get, I don't know, four or five inches of water in here. Start scooping. Oh, Is there? Nice. <laughs> Mm. 
Okay, nice little waterfall. So you're gonna take the pump out and all that stuff then? If I fill this up, is it okay if we like put this over here and bring the water out in the yard? Thank you. Yeah, it's probably more than enough. Uh, I mean, towards the end, if we always need more, we can, you know, get more. But that should work. All right, so basically, uh, probably a half hour or so to get this drain down enough for us to see them and get them out of here. Yeah, that might help. Is the whole thing filled with rocks? There's a lot of rocks in there, yeah, and then that's just going to fit in. Might just have to wait. Man, right there, went, it's super deep. It went down pretty good already, didn't it? Oh, you got one. And they are goldfish, aren't they? Yeah, a little goldfish. Yeah, a little goldfish. <laughs> That's the whole thing. People really don't know. They tell us we're coming out for koi, and we end up with a bunch of goldfish. Rich and I went to do that one, and we gave away like 200, and we ended up with 200. <laughs> but I think we drove all the way down for about four or five goldfish. <laughs> Oh boy, sometimes that happens. So fun to get home regardless. <laughs> I wonder how long the pond sat here unattended. Right. It's not that green, I've seen way worse. Oh, I think there is a koi in here. Cool, that'd be nice if we could get at least one. Unless the goldfish are half white and half orange too. True. Are they? Some of yep. Them like oh yeah. Absolutely. Oh yeah. I think it might have been one of those guys. A regular cool looking goldfish. It's not real deep. It just seems like it's got a lot of rocks, huh? I'm starting to see more. Yeah, number two. Goldfish. Oh well. We rescue every and anything. There you go. He's the biggest one so far. Yeah, he's got a bright orange color. Yeah. They <laughs> are goldfish. Here, I'll take all that out of there, hold on. You just caught a fourth one. I'm gonna move some of this and get that pump out so we can have more access. Oh yeah, nice catch. Number five? Number five. Number five. The big one. <laughs> we know there's one white and orange because you've already seen it, right? Yeah. We'll just keep draining. Oh, got him. <laughs> Number uh, six? Number six. Got a real nice orange to him, you know. Oh, here he is. There he is. He had black thing, didn't he? Yeah. He was an orange and black one. That's what I thought. Oh yeah, look at him right there hiding. Dude, that one was a cool goldfish. Right, he was the orange. Oh, there's a big one right there. See that big one? Yeah. It'd be nice if there was at least one koi. I think there might be one. I, I, don't, I never seen a goldfish that was that cool. There's a, that, there's a couple down there. Yeah, 
gotta sleep under them and then you get into the rocks. Okay. Okay. Those two regular two. gold ones. What do we got? About seven of them now. <laughs> There's a big one over here, or he was. There he's going between, he's coming right back out that way. Yep, there you go. Oh, dude. <laughs> there got he is. You got one though? I got the koi. Oh, we got one then? Is it? It's gotta be. Let's see. Yeah. Mm. What is that, an albino goldfish? Uh, no, it's not albino, but no, it's not a koi. Just white, well, beautiful, but silver. That's not a koi? No. It's a long fin. Yeah, well you got long fin, fancy goldfish, but no. Nah. He'll have two barbs underneath his chin, man, if he's a koi. Oh, there's another white guy. There's a lot more than I expected. I see a little one right in that corner right there. See him? <laughs> Got him? No, I didn't. There he is. Oh, big one right there. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> yep. There you go. He's the biggest one. You see a goldfish. Couple of them. Oh, come on. <laughs> Got them. Oh. <laughs> so get in there. That's one way to catch them. <laughs> oh, see the white one? The white and thing is right by our motor. Oh, got him. <laughs> That's the one I thought was a koi, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they're all going to be goldfish. Man, he does look like it, but... See, he's has, he has a whiskers. I've seen them. They're just, uh... Yeah. Ooh. All right, so we got one koi. Yeah, so we got one. He's beautiful. This thing, we gotta get that in the water more. There's two right there. <laughs> Got one of the two. Yeah, we're getting a few of them. One against the wall over there. Another spot. Ah, goldfish. <laughs> Another light one. But he's got some beautiful fins. Hmm. Another one right there by the hose, little one. There's more where those came from. Yep. I see I see more in there. Two with this batch. Uh, two for one. There's a couple swimming. Gotta get these rocks out there. <laughs> two more. Got two more. Oh yeah. Cause there's a bunch oh, swimming right three. by these rocks. Oh three? Yeah, I got a three for. <laughs> Make it a little easier. Bio ball. Yep. Got in there. I think there's only that one rock in the middle, dude. Well, as you see, it's totally drained out now, and we got them all. So we're gonna unplug this. All right. 
Okay, so we'll clean up, get our pump, get our thing carried out of here, get a stone on these guys, and get back to our bar. So, pretty easy, quick little rescue. When, all right, so how's that look? We we figured we totally drain it for you as well. Oh, I appreciate it. That way it's, you know, pretty much done, and you know they're gone, and there's all are, the fish. Are they even koi? Oh, there's one we found, we believe, but the rest are goldfish, but <laughs> we rescue everything. One was koi. I was told they were all koi, and that's, that's fine. But that's all right. We rescue everything. But thank you very much. We appreciate oh, your call. there's big fishy in there. Yeah, yeah. There's a couple pretty ones, and with a couple with some really nice long tails on them too. Yeah. But John and I will get these babies back in the truck, get some air on them, and we'll get back to OFR. Right. But in the meantime, I'd like to thank you so much. <laughs> thank you. All righty. Well, I hope you carry that too. All right. So we got them in. We got the air going. And now I'll give Big Rich a call because there was something in Athens. We'll see if that's still on, or because I didn't hear from him, he was going to try. If not, back to uh, OFR. Back to HQ. HQ, yeah. All right, Jean and I made it back, so we're going to get them back in there and get them acclimated real quick and get them into a tank. All right, so now that we got them guys situated, we'll do a quick thing. There's the uh, Australian. These are all those uh, cichlids, or uh, yeah, cichlids we picked up, all those babies. Here's that wolfish. We picked up. That was just the one from the other day. Man, look at that mouth on that dude. <laughs> he looks mean. And now what's this here? Oh, that's the draft cat. Yeah, that's why I can't see him from. That's a draft cat. That's the Beecher. Beecher. You can never say that. Granulated cat. <laughs> I'm learning. Yeah, those are the tin bar or tin foils. Oh, that's a big boy. Alright, we're gonna start putting them in. He does have whiskers, he is, he is the koi. Yeah. Yep, he does, he's got barbs, he's a koi. So is that one, so is that silver one. Oh, two koi, I yep. told you. Yeah, so maybe some of silver. These two here are koi, that one there and that one there. Might be one or two more. Might be one in this bag. Uh, that white one. Oh, it looks like it. We have three, three of them. Yes. Okay, you left and put two sponge filters. Come back and never hook them back up to the system. Now the bacteria is dead on them. They dried out. Yeah. Yeah, he's neat. 
Alright. <clears throat> so not exactly the six inch dozen koi's we were looking for, but there are three koi's. Especially that 131 right there. Let me get out of the way. So we do have three koi. And the rest are goldfish. Another one bites the dust. Hey, just dropping John off, and as long as we're here, we're gonna take a look at his stuff. Bearded dragons. This male is a translucent. Uh, we're trying to breed him, so I'm not really trying to mess with him too much. And then over here. So this is a bioactive terrarium with isopods. Oh. Yeah. Show you, and there's also a Pac-Man frog in here if I could find him. But basically all this stuff I uh, get to reproduce and stuff so I can uh, feed all my animals. Cool. But there is a Pac-Man frog in here somewhere. A lot of little buggies in there. <laughs> yeah, isopods. And that's what keeps it going, huh? Oh, yeah. So basically if you throw a bunch of these in here with a reptile like they'll start eating the poop and stuff and it'll just be very good for the uh whole enclosure cool like if you set it up basically like this you know awesome yeah you got a fish tank that's what i got going on for fish okay. that's my musk turtle oh i yeah. thought it was a statue <laughs> no that's that's a real life boy <laughs> And there's, is that is a, a little Cory cat? Cory cat. Okay, what's see. underneath there, right there? Okay, so that is, it's like a Raphael. Uh, yeah. He's really, I call him the Megalodon. Okay. And then I got two of these Beechers right here. Ah. Uh, yeah, everybody loves their Beechers. And that's all that's in here. Yeah, they're cool. <laughs> and the quarantine tank over there, so when my boys get sick. And then up here. These would just be ball pythons. I'll get this one. I just fed the other one. Oh, little guy, yeah. Oh, what's up, buddy? Yeah. Nice. Now this is what you really want to see in here. I got a lock on the door for a reason. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the reticulated python. He loves living in the uh, the water then, huh? Yeah, I guess I do have another fish tank. She's my piece. She can fully get out of that whenever she wants, so. Yeah, good girl, huh? Oh, you even got some crayfish in there. I do. Some albinos I got from my boy Luke. Shout out, Luke. Yeah, that's where I got mine from. Yeah, <laughs> he's just supplying everyone. <laughs> awesome. How big is he? It's 11 and a half feet. Cool. It's a, a lavender mochino reticulated python. Awesome, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, so John and I, we took care of that. We got at least three. There was three koi in there. And she didn't know. She was told they were all koi. No biggie. We rescue everything. And they were nice goldfish. So they'll all go to a good home. That's not a problem. Uh, me and Rich took off. We started getting the braces and everything needed for, if you watch his video, then you've seen they got the tank in under the 3,000, or above the 3,000, for the stingray. Now we went and got wood. As we called it, guess what? When we got back home, Rich is like, I don't, for one thing, we forgot to get pressure-treated lumber. So we were taking it back. 
And second thought, uh, you know, uh, Big Rich is like, just doesn't look right. So we got a tape measure and the tank is 10 foot 10 inches. So we need 12 footers anyway. So we're going to take them back tomorrow and go ahead and get the 12 footers. And I'm going to go ahead and start working on some of the elephant ears and splitting them and all that good stuff. So that's another video coming up and you guys stay tuned for that. And of course, we only got this week and then this weekend we're going to be down uh, in Kentucky. I understand Will Star will be with us. So he's going to be doing some videoing I'm sure as well. So you guys stay fishy my friends. Hit that like, subscribe and share and we'll go deeper with the Reaper.